Hey, what's up, everybody? Chef Rudy Straker. I got an afternoon off, so I figured I hit the kitchen, get something on film, and show a little bit of skills. What we're doing today? We're gonna do fried chicken. Now, we're gonna do fried chicken my way. It's totally different. So we got a whole chicken. So we're gonna get an eight piece cut out of this chicken. So we're gonna get eight pieces. Take the chicken, put on some paper towels, dry it up. Because you want it to be slippery when you're handling a knife. You cut yourself accidentally. So we dry them off. I like to dry the inside as much as possible as well. And even if some juice uh, leaks out on the board, I like to dry that up instantly so there's no moisture. Breaking down the chicken is the same. It's breaking down a quail, a turkey. All right, you're going to get eight pieces out of this. Two legs, two thighs, two wings, two breasts. All right, so what I do, let me get it over here so you can see it on camera. I make a slit right by the leg. I pop the bone right here out of the joint. Cut that. That's two pieces. That's a leg and a thigh. Opposite side, same thing. Make sure your knife is sharp. Pop that leg and thigh out of the, there's the bone. Pop it right out of the joint. And just follow it with your knife. Boom. Got four pieces. I take the wing tips off. All right. Discard that. Take the wings off. Easy. You don't have to work. If your knife is sharp, it comes off like that. Nice and easy. Right here. This is the joint. I'll do it slow and on camera so you can see it. And it comes off as easy as that. Now, we got the back, chicken back, right here, and the chicken breast, right here. What I like to do cut down on the back. All right, so <clears throat> we got a chicken back. Don't throw this out. We could use this for chicken stock and in commercial kitchens you could fry it and you can snack on it. And right here, let me show you, let me carve that out. Right here in the back is like a dimple. We call this the oyster. The chicken oyster. So there's one on each side. You can use this for stock. Like I said, here's the two oysters. Good eats. Alright, so we got this. The chicken back. Now we're left with a whole breast. Okay. What I like to do is split the breast. the skin. Me personally, I think that this half breast is too much to serve to one person for one person, so I like to cut it down. So, pardon me, I'm going to get 10 pieces out of this chicken. 10 way. 10 way cut chicken. Same thing, clean it up a little bit, take that fat off. I like to split it so you, everybody gets a piece of meat, a good decent piece of meat. And when you hit bone, don't try to saw through it. Just hack, hack it. Your knife's in the meat. Boom. Breast meat. All right. Now, legs and thighs. Let's get this off the board. Legs and thighs. Put the oyster back. Right where this line of yellow fat is, that's where you cut and separate the leg from the thigh. Easy. Here's your thigh. And here's your drumstick portion. Just trim it up a little bit. Boom. Hit your drumstick. Let's do it again on the other one. 
This will happen every time you get a whole chicken. Where you see the yellow fat right here, that's where you make your incision cut. Nice and easy, sharp knife, not putting pressure. Let the knife do the work. And you just separated the leg and thigh again. All right, so here we go with the leg again. Take the extra skin off, and boom. So we're left with this. Two legs. One. Two thighs. Rock out with two wings. And our breast meat. The next side. All right. So there you go. One chicken that costs five dollars. All this meat. So you can definitely grill it, jerk it, fry it. Any style of cooking you like. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, almost forgot. My two oysters. That's all right. So we're gonna season our chicken. Now, that's one of the biggest things. Do you season it enough? Do you make it too salty? Whatever. Let me show you how I do. First things first. Whole black pepper. I grind my own pepper. So it's fresh. And I can get the grind that I that I like, not with the store or the company selling it. Okay. Alright. This is a regular coffee grinder. Any coffee grinder will do. So that's my grind of my black pepper. So, season up, fresh cracked black pepper. I like a lot of pepper. All right, black pepper. Now, <coughs> I use Goyo Adobo, the blue top. The blue top does not have pepper in it. The red top has pepper the adobo that will be my salt granulated garlic to be very liberal with the say with the seasonings why because I do I do not season the flour onion powder the same okay. and then Put a little chicken bouillon powder in there. Why? Because it's chicken. There you go. And we give it a toss. The moisture from the chicken will mingle with the spices. You let that sit in the fridge for about a half an hour. Look at this. This is one of the breast pieces. Open it up, get the seasoning in there too. Why? Because you're going to bite into that. There's nothing worse than bland chicken. We're not going there. Season up everything. Make sure it's coated nicely. Hit it in the fridge for half an hour. Is my cassette burner. Check it out. It's one of those joints that has the propane can right there. This pot is a pressure cooker. It's a 10 quart pressure cooker. How I'm doing it is I'm pressure cooking, pressure frying the chicken. You can only pressure fry in a commercial pressure, pressure fryer or one that goes on top of an open flame. Your Instapot will not do this. So why do I do it like this? I want to seal in the juices, make the chicken juicy and crispy and it cooks much quicker than just a pan of uh, 
hot oil or a skillet of hot oil on the fire. Hey, welcome back. We're going to test the oil with my thermometer here. We're looking for 370. And we're at 190, we're at 205 already. Regular all purpose flour. getting hot regular flour no seasoning the seasoning is on the chicken one last step I like to get a little hot sauce get the chicken up with some hot sauce also for the for the dredging so now let's take some wings there we go got two wings in there same deal season them up You're wondering why my computer's there. It's because I'm recording directly onto the computer and then I can edit and post it. So, I don't cook with the computer. It just helps me record. See, we got, we got our battered wings. Now our breast pieces. Make some room in the bowl. Breast. And we'll do them one at a time so we don't run out of space. I like to open the breast up like a book. Throw the flour in there. Fried chicken. It's complex. Some people find it difficult. Some people mess it up. And some people do it well. I feel that the longer you let it sit, and marinate the better flavor profile you're gonna get. Don't be stingy with your spices. Hot oil, this whole time, and to, to flour up. Did you see that? I grabbed the chicken with the um, with the flour hand. It gets even for me. It gets a little confusing sometimes. But try to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. See, the flour hand and the wet chicken hand. All right, everything is breaded up. Now we have the two oysters that we took off the back of the chicken. Flour them up as well. Cool. All right, all of our chicken is breaded. Let's change the gloves out. Get rid of this. Five more degrees so we tapped off the excess flour we don't want that in the bottom of the pot and look you know it's gonna be beautiful you know it's gonna be good you know it so check it again I start with the dark meat first put the legs in one two follow that with my thighs thighs Excess flour, excess flour off of them. Look at that. Boom. I will put one more. Fried chicken. Pressure fried chicken. Not just fried chicken. More than rounds so they all stick together. Boom. Look. We're getting color. Okay. I want a light mahogany color on them. Pack down the, the top of the pressure cooker. And that's good money. The timing is everything on this. Alright? I'll show you. We're going to brown the chicken a bit. But we're going to cook it for six minutes. Look at them legs. Looks good, right? You see that? 
Looking good. I bring it up to 370. I bring the oil up to 370 because when you add food, it brings the oil temperature down. So I'm looking to level out. So by the time it starts going and starts browning the chicken, we should be about 350, 355, which is actually absolutely perfect. Perfect for that. Absolutely perfect. So back to the pot. Take a look, see. See that? That's what we want. Nice and mahogany colored. Boom. Now, here's where the magic starts. Put the lid on. Make sure it's on perfect. Front and back. There you go. Tighten it. You want to put the spindle on. Move this up away for a moment. I like to give you when you take your food out of the hot oil, put it on a sheet pan, a cookie sheet, and a rack. So any oil that's left on there, it can drip down, and your food is not sitting in oil. So there you go. See? Start to spin. That means the excess pressure that's built up in the pot is being dissipated. Not like fried chicken. Nothing. Can't wait. Six minutes. Got the timer clicking down. So I was like I was saying at the one minute mark, I'm gonna kill the flame, take off the spindle, and let the the built-in pressure let it just jettison out and bring down the pressure of the pot. Um, then I'll open it, take the chicken out, and we'll do the uh, round two. Three, two, one. All right. So we're at the one minute point. Turn the fire off. Take the spindle off. I'll turn it around. You can see that. You see that vapor coming out of there? I know it's hard to see, but there's vapor. There's hot vapor. So we're letting the excess... You just see the steam coming out now. We're letting the excess pressure and steam, we're letting that come off. So it'll be safe to... Uh, Take the lid off the fresh cook. We're 20, we have 25 seconds left in our cook. All right, time's up. So, slowly, slowly open the pressure cooker. Check this out, y'all. Drain off the excess oil. Ooh! I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. Check this out. Let me test the oil with. Check this out. We'll take a chicken bite. Thermometer in. Two hundred and six degrees, two hundred and ten degrees. You know your chicken's done. Come on, son. Look at that. You gotta be crazy. All right. Well, Slowly, release the pressure slowly. A 
the middle. It's hot. It's not ready to release yet. Alright. So we'll let it just sit for another second or so. Let the excess oil drip off. Put it on the rack. Whatever oils that's left on the chicken will drip off through the rack onto the sheet pan. And you all got some fried chicken. And that's it. Nothing left in the pot. So, just like last time. Hope you can see that. It says 187. One sixty-five is the cooked chicken. So that's how I fry chicken. That's my tutorial on frying chicken. Uh, that's my whole thing. So Works. Until next time. Peace.